What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new video. And what I'm going to be showing you guys today, it's not so much, let me go here, it's not so much a war recap, but we did have, now this was not an arranged war, as Midwinters did have a Town Hall 11 and a Town Hall 10 advantage this war, but it's not going to be a war recap video, so to speak. I just want to show a few attacks to you guys that I thought were just, I mean, I was blown away by some of these attacks, uh, but we'll just take a quick look at the map, just give you guys just a quick breakdown again. This was a random spin. I do want to give Midwinners big shout out. Um, I do have a lot of respect and a lot of love for some of the members that are over there in the Midwinters family. Much love to Taz and Puffer Joe. Miss you guys. Um, but back to the war map. Again, they did have a Town Hall 11 and a Town Hall 10 advantage. Breakdown, uh, let me see. FFS, okay, our breakdown was 61321. Midwinter's breakdown was 71419. Obviously, if you do that math, this was a 40v40. And I mean, it was just, I mean, it was a really fun war. I couldn't believe that we matched them, uh, considering, you know, they were significantly heavier than us. Um, but just a big shout out to uh, our heavy hitters, um, especially. We have, we go ahead and look at, and they did have, real quick, just to let you guys know, they did not have any 11v11 triples. And of course, the one triple that they had was on my base. So they did, um, <laughs> they did triple me, but that was the one 10v10 that they had. Now, we'll go ahead and look at their side of the map, what we did to their side of the map. Look at number one, Secret Assassin. We had two 11v11 triples this war, guys. We tripled number one. Uh, that was by uh, Rio. And we tripled number seven, which was by Shy Guy. One of those attacks was with air. One of those attacks is with ground. So I will be showing you guys both of those. And we did have two 10v10 triples as well right here on Corey. Not only that, look at that. Gooves, a.k.a. Goovesy, babe, with the 10v10 six-pack, guys. Um, again, much love to Taz. But Goofs absolutely smashed your base. So we will be showing, uh, where should we start? Should we start off at the 11s or the 10s? Okay, we'll do it. I usually start at the bottom and work my way up. Um, unconventional, most, most guys go from top down. We'll go ahead and go top down. We'll go ahead and check out Rio's hit, doing it with Bitch. Um, and I won't recap the exact, I mean, I do want to, you know, just talk a little bit more about the war and, you know, what's been going on. Uh, with the clan and all that good stuff. Um, but the two bases that we did triple, in all fairness, you guys know that I'm you know, very fair with these uh, recaps. We did struggle with this base and as well as their number seven. I believe, I can go look at the stats after this, but I believe we hit number seven one time, but basically... Uh, just put a block on it because we thought we'd be able to get the 11v11 triple. But I'll tell you what, usually we're very on. I mean, you guys have seen the other recap videos. Usually we're we are on the mark when it comes to 10v11s, getting the 11s doubled by our Town Hall 10s. But this war, you know, again, it was midweek. You know, it's obviously not a CWL war. Again, it's not an arranged war. So midweek wars, it's a little more relaxed. Um, you know, we do still, you know, do quite a bit of planning, but it's just not quite what it usually is midweek. Not an excuse, but um, what happened is because we couldn't, couldn't get these bases uh, doubled by our 10s, we were able to have 11 v 11 attempts, um, but still just came up short by that one star. Uh, just missing, you know, almost beat him, even with the disadvantage. So would have been a hell of a win, um, but just could not quite seal the deal. But anyway, awesome attack as you guys watch that to Rio hitting this 109K, uh, their number one, of course, able to get the three-star tripling uh, with Bitch smashing it. Again, we don't get to see a lot of... Um, we just don't get to see a lot of 11 v 11 um, action. Usually there's not a lot of opportunities, but we were able to have one. Um, 
this war, which was very cool. And, oh, this is also a ground attack. I, I was thinking of a different attack. I said one of these was with air. But uh, we have Shy Guy going to be hitting this base. A little lighter. This is a 108K. This is their bottom um, Town Hall 11, if you will, number 7, Coldius. Uh, big shout out to him. I don't know if this is Taz running Coldius or if this is the actual Coldius. Uh, I, you know, I do know both of them. So at any rate, so we have Shy Guy coming in. So, but yeah, it was kind of cool to see that, um, you know, our 11s were able to get uh, their hands on um, not only an uh, 11 v 11 attempt, but the actual 11 v 11 three star and just showing that you know, it, it it is possible. It's just a matter of, you know, the Town Hall 10s being able to triple these other Town Hall 10s. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen with um, this next update. You know, are they going to give, you know, Town Hall 10 something? I've heard rumors of, you know, level five Grand Warden at Town Hall 10, but it would be cool to see something, something tweaked or something changed to where Town Hall 10s um, it's just more tangible. I mean, anywhere from one to three Town Hall 10, uh, three star attempts. I mean, I think the league is hitting it. I'm, I'm probably wrong on half this information. I believe the league's hitting at about what? 20%, uh, three star rate. So, you know, these Town Hall 10s start three starring and our Town Hall 11s will be able to do things like this in these wars is what we're really hoping for. Uh, we've also heard that there's no dip leagues uh, starting up. Just all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on with Clash again, especially with... All right, now I'll go ahead and check out Gooves' hits. Um, especially, you know, again, with this update coming. Um, who knows what's going to happen? So anyway, those were our two 11 v 11 three stars. Again, we were not able to get those bases doubled uh, by our 10s, but we were able to get the 11 v 11 three star. So big shout out to Rio and Shy Guy. Awesome job on those hits. Now we got Goose. We're going to watch uh, both of his uh, Town Hall 10 triples. And one thing that I've really been noticing as you guys have, well, I know there's a lot of videos floating around. You know, I've made a couple different, uh, you know, Town Hall 10 uh, three-star videos. And it's this attack right here, the Sui Hero Lalo. Um, it's not like it's anything new, but I'm just seeing it more. And not only, you know, just seeing it more, but the three-star, it, it really seems like this is the attack that people are using, especially uh, running these Houndloom CCs. You could just see the value he got. He was able to get two air defenses, the enemy queen, the Houndloom, once the heroes are dead, does essentially nothing, you know, when the rest of the raid is just air troops. So um, really seeing a lot of the Sui Hero Lalo and basically using every last one of your spells um, on the Lalo portion. Now this one, he was able... Um, shout out to Corey as well. He was, he, uh, what, what the hell am I saying? In the other attack, he has a skelly spell, but in this hero Lalo, he got even more value because he was able to use, uh, his queen to get the enemy queen taken out as you guys saw. Uh, so was able to bring even a couple more spells for the Lalo portion. Um, and you can see right here, uh, those how or those loons were very low health, but was able to get not, I mean, ending on a, an Inferno Tower and a maxed out Wizard Tower. Deadly stuff, but he was able to get done. Look at the health of, look at the health of these loons. Just hanging on by a thread, but was able to get the job done. So, so really good job to uh, Gooves. Again, 10v10 six pack. We just wrapped up a war against We Are Spartans, where he also um, had a Town Hall 10 um six pack 10 v 10 six pack two wars in a row all right let's go ahead i to get a drink of water real quick uh let's go ahead and check out i do not i cannot show you guys enough love to taz and it's kind of it's kind of crazy even seeing this attack um and what i'm talking about is you know goo's the attacker and taz is the defender not in an fc um but in different clans, it's, it's just crazy. You know, I know these guys have been in clans, you know, for a while together. At any rate, yeah, it's just, just kind of weird to see that. At any rate, um, again, check it out. Same war. And here he's doing it. Guys, Sui Hero Lalo. Um, the main difference, as you can see, 
is the skelly spells. He has he's bringing two skelly spells, one of his own, maxed one of his own, which is level three at tunnel ten, and then a maxed donated, um, being level four that he's gonna be dropping on the queen. Now, the other attack, <coughs> the other attack, he was able to get the queen, um, with his queen. But he wasn't like the Infernal Tower. In this attack, it's the opposite. Got the Infernal Tower, didn't get uh, the enemy queen, and you basically just make those adjustments, just bringing a crap ton of loons. And the only thing, the only other adjustment is he's bringing, um, again, skelly spells versus bringing extra haste with the other attack. But just setting that defense funnel uh, with the heroes and... Again, even being able to grab that Inferno Tower, which was a big tree, even Taz after this attack, um, you know, we talked a little bit and, you know, he said if that Inferno Tower just adjusted one tile, uh, his queen wouldn't, you know, wouldn't have been able to reach it. So again, just, it's amazing how just a tile can make the world of, especially at Town Hall 10. So real good job to, uh, to Gooves on this one. Town Hall 10, six pack to Gooves. Awesome job. Absolutely love it. And I did want to show you guys one more attack that we'll go ahead and get into real quick. And it's this dip right here. And now, granted, this is 87K, but this is a heavy 87K. I'll tell you guys what. Um, let's see. Two of the four wizard towers are maxed. I know the ITs are level two, but the archer towers are maxed. Obviously, the ADs. Cannons are one level. Um, and the expos are... Let me see. Yeah, the expos... He's got the three... Okay, there's a third expo. And then the expos are all level three. But look at the troop bar again with Rio, with the six-pack. And I'm not talking 11 v 10 six-pack. We're talking the 11 v 11 and this 11 v 10. Doing it with hogs, guys. He's got 20 hogs he's going to be using on this base. Uh, entering here on the upper left. Just gets amazing, amazing value from this kill squad. He's going to get both Infernos. So you'll see on this rock skip off the CC... Under Rage ends up taking out the second Inferno Tower. So the major threats to this base are obviously gone, being the enemy queen, the CC, both Inferno Towers. And you can just see the defense pathing from one edge of the base to the other. There he goes, drops all his hogs, does have three heal and one freeze uh, that he's going to be bringing along here. So... Uh, just goes in, drops that heal right there on these defenses. And now I've seen quite a few, uh, I shouldn't say quite a few, but I have seen a few hog attempts. And other than FCs, this is the only one I've seen, like actually in a war, uh, get the three star. Basically, swag the freeze, uh, you know, did, did stop the, the expo damage and the cannon damage. More or less a, a, a swag. He did have that heal right there. And hogs are pretty much all at full health. But really, really good job to Rio. Again, uh, with the six-pack this war and doing it with style. Um, doing it with hogs. So just really, really enjoyed uh, that attack. Um, completely wrecked Turbo on that one. Um, doing it Again, doing it with hogs. We just do not see hog attacks. Really want to show you guys that. At any rate, the war results, to me... Um, I'm not throwing any shade at midwinters, but I do believe, you know, things like, you know, a defeat like this comes with an asterisk, uh, especially having the Town Hall 11 and the Town Hall 10 um, advantage. But what I would like to say, I know I talked to, I, I guess I shouldn't say this, but I have talked to a couple people in midwinters. Hopefully we can get an arranged war, maybe in a bye week, maybe after CWL, um, you know, just war like an actual arranged war you know even breakdown and so on and maybe i could bring you guys some of that footage i think that'd be a lot of fun you know considering quite a few of us came from midwinters before we even created uh forge from steel but i think that'd be a lot of fun hopefully we can have that in the works i hope you guys enjoyed again not this war recap but just some attacks i want to highlight you know just talk to you guys about some stuff just kind of hanging out so at any rate um, you know, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe 
to the channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate all the love and all the support uh, that you guys have been showing the channel as of late. Very, very cool. You know, it gives me a lot of motivation to keep making these videos when I know, you know, not only am I having fun doing it, but you guys are enjoying it as well. At any rate, I've been talking quite a bit. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Thank you.